Hello and welcome to World War Wednesdays. As always, I am your host, the world-renowned historian, and with me, as always, is Brother Harrison! With me, as always, is Brother Harrison! Brother Harrison! Is it safe to come up yet? Is it safe, historian? Given the 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 uh, the, uh, the, the title of today's movie, I'm uh, I'm a little bit nervous. Brother Harrison, brother historian, how are you today, sir? It's I'm happy to see you uh, safe, safe and unharmed and uh, unmolested. Well, you yeah, you can understand my nervousness. I mean, considering today's uh, the title of today's video, one what? would be a little bit nervous. Well, sir, today we are here to watch, as we always watch all the classic films, Casablanca, Citizen Kane, World War II Army Ground Forces training film, How to Get Killed in One Easy Lesson, 1943. So, wait a second, you're telling me that your American GIs were so good at their job, the Army had to get give them train, training how to get killed just to make it even? You'd think, <laughs> you'd think they'd already have this down. Yeah! Uh, I, I'm very bewildered by this. I, it's one of my favorite films. But, uh, I, I can't wait to watch this. It's one of his favorite films that he hasn't even watched it yet. <laughs> yeah, so I've never seen this film before, but I was scrolling through the YouTube recommendations pages, and I saw that title, and I'm like, we gotta react to this. That, 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 that is a we can't, with a title like that, we can't afford not to. So, uh, you, you're, you know this period more than me. What was happening in 43? Uh, let's see, 1940, let's see, Stalin, the Battle of Stalingrad would have, uh, would have been concluded in victory for the... Russians, uh, uh, North Africa was still a f no wait no Af North Africa would have been finished by this point so the Italian campaign would have been well underway. Uh, our lots would have been amassing in uh, England to invade uh, Normandy the next year, and uh, I'm not sure what happened was going on in. Oh wait, I think this would have been also the the, the Battle of Guadalcanal would have been uh, would have been happening around this time. But I, I have no idea what the tone of this is going to be. If it's like, uh, face death like a hero, or like, uh, how to survive, and it's like a satirical title. Like, I, I'm, I'm totally in the dark with this. So, uh, mm -hmm. uh, shall we? I'll say this about the old, the old uh, propaganda movies. But that soundtrack, they get you hyped up. Brass band. Could run through a wall. Mm-hmm. Go full Kool-Aid man. You almost did in dark, Edge of Darkness. <laughs> How to get killed in one easy lesson. Step one, get shot. It's got like the Warner Brothers, like, circle, like, graphic. Someone is crawling towards us. I... Oh, I see him. Good eye, good eye. Hmm. Here comes G Mr. G.I. Joe. I do believe he is meant to be in the Pacific. I believe so. Nice ghillie suit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, he didn't kill him. I think he just wounded him. Second one. Man, these, these snipers have horrible shots. <laughs> Is bolt action stuck? Which right, probably fairly right, common, right I would guess. He's not shooting him. There's no way in hell that, that, that Japanese sniper would have uh, just surrendered like that. Oh, they're both surrendered. So, as we know, certain certain Japanese soldiers continued to uh, prosecute the war into like the 1970s. Yeah, yeah. So, what what uh, what what was the one guy's name? Uh, he refused to surrender, even though he, uh, pr he was proven to him that he did not that the war was over. Said he would only give up when his commanding officer told him to, so they had to go and track him down. I can't remember what his name is. He, he was, probably he was still alive. The commanding yeah. officer. Yeah, 
Yeah, uh, here's a picture of the Japanese uh, soldier who kept fighting until 1973 right above me. You know, for a Japanese soldier, he speaks very good English. Probably born in, like, Santa Ana, California. Probably not even Japanese. Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? Japanese soldiers, very clever. They have to be killed. American soldiers, very dumb. They get killed and killed themselves. All we did was pull a trigger. Very simple. Hang on, are we having a flashback to... Like ten minutes earlier. Yeah. We were waiting for you to cross the river. Your men will come on up the hill. They all take cover. Some of them very hard to see. One man behind big tree. He popped his head right over the top. Back. Very good target. Not to miss. Headshot. <laughs> Some of them go down and disappear. I can't find them. But one man goes behind bush all by itself. Now okay, I know just so where he is. So, so the idea is like like teaching like tactical movement, I guess. Yeah, by uh, basically it's the enemy telling him like this is this is how your men screwed up. Right, right, right. So that's two now dead. Eight more. So this is probably like day three of boot camp, right? Like, Very nice to see. Very fine. One man has shiny bayonet. Very pretty. Very pretty. Couldn't see him before. Very simple now. So don't shine your bayonets, boys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Something similar happened to me when I was playing paintball. I was dressed up in full camel gear, except I was wearing my hoodie underneath of it, and my red hood gave me away. Reminded of uh, Tom Hanks using like the little mirror in the opening scene of Saving Private Ryan. He comes up same place mm. watching. Two of them were talking up. Almost looks like a golf club. Hey Joe, that looks like a good spot over there. No, come on over here. Not me. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know what you're doing. Drops dead. <laughs> Not me, Joe. I know what I'm doing. Famous last words. Yeah. One group of men very silly. So All don't hold loud conversations on, on an active battlefield. Check. Oh, they got hit by a grenade. Don't bunch up. One Japanese motor, Joe. No more men at all. No more men at all. I saw another group. If they had stayed apart, they would have been alive. But they all want to get into the same little ditch. One of our machine guns out of the flank saw them too. They're still back there in the... Doesn't, uh, d doesn't Tom Sizemore's character have that line in Private Ryan where he's like, Five men, juicy target. One man, waste, waste of ammo. Yeah. Okay, okay, you're not so smart. I got you, didn't I? <laughs> I've gotten 30 Americans. Hey, you. Pick up his arm. They're just sitting there having a full conversation in the middle of a firefight. <laughs> Alright, hold on a minute. Hey, MP! That is quite a lot of Japanese prisoners this early in the... I say mid or this way in the war. Yeah. How's it going, Sarge? So long, Sarge. You're getting a lot better than you deserve. Hey, your outfit did all right over on that hill. Not bad. But they're gonna do better next time. Because I'm gonna give them a lesson I just learned from a Jap. And I mean I'm gonna hammer it in. What kind of a lesson? 
a lesson on how to get killed. <laughs> <laughs> We just learned how to die in one easy lesson. Yes. Hold loud conversations in the middle of an active war zone. <laughs> bunch up together. Uh, count, like being predictable. Also, don't shine your bayonets, boys. It will kill you. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, it's it's not uh, obvious stuff. I, I feel like this is probably uh, actually very useful to, mm -hmm. like men learning how to be a soldier like this was probably like they showed this at the beginning of a lesson and then they, they had they spent three hours learning to like get undercover or whatever how much are you willing to bet they filmed that whole that they filmed that whole movie in like one afternoon i'm sure yeah 100 <laughs> well one take uh, a la ed wood but yeah th this was, uh, was uh probably a very effective uh training tool I assume. And, and, you know, it's like you sit everybody down, they watch a little 10 minute film, and then they all get up and they go out in their training course and, oh, I'm hiding behind these boxes. Oh, I'm hiding behind this bush or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, just gotta teach a whole bunch of farm boys from Iowa how to uh, not get themselves killed. Which, to be fair, is not obvious. You know, the, like uh, uh, the way an actual firefight works is not how a movie firefight works. You know, it's yeah. mostly covering fire, right? Like, like the actual shots you take at the enemy are, like, few and far between. It's much more about, you know, you, you get into this position, and he moves, and you move. It's a chess game until you actually get a shot, essentially. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I heard somewhere that, like... Now, going back to what you said about, like, covering fire, I think I heard some statistic, like, uh... Like, 90% of all the ammunition that uh, soldiers uh, shoot at the enemy misses. Yeah. And it isn't even really intended to be fatal. It's just getting them to duck so you can move and get into position, essentially. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. Yeah. We now know how not to die. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, our, our reaction to how to get killed in one easy lesson. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, keep, keep in mind that we've had to talk over these tracks so YouTube doesn't uh, throw a hissy fit and uh, boycott the channel or whatever. Anyway. Remember to uh, hit hit the notification bell to know when we upload things. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And also remember to uh, check out the histori uh, historian's uh, main channel and my main channel. Link down in the description down below. And until next time, guys, this has been your host, Harrison MacArthur, Draco Pendragon, and the world-renowned historian, signing off. Be good, kiddos. We out. Peace.